if anybody has a prayer request, uh, again, just for the sake of time, uh, just if somebody on your heart mention their name, God knows all about the whole situation. Amen. Amen. Jerry Ball. Jerry Ball. Amen. Jerry Ball. Amen. Jerry Ball. Amen.
Uh, if you're lost or backslidden, we pray that uh, the gospel will break your heart, uh, come into you, and let you realize Amen. that you need Jesus more than anything. Amen. If you're here and you're weak as a Christian, we pray that you get strength tonight. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, we're living in a time, friend, where, uh, where we can't be weak. Uh, we got to dig deep. we got to stay strong. Amen. We're coming to the last days. Uh, I want to go in uh, with full strength. Amen. Uh, at this time, uh, uh, we're going to uh, ask if anybody has a song or testimony before we uh, call the singers up. Brother Jesse, let's have the our young people. Some of them want to sing last night, the children. Come on. Come on, kids. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on. They all have different songs, but we're going to narrow it down about two, okay? <laughs> Amen. Come on. Where's your boy? Hey. Come on, come on. Time to say. Hey, Quick. Come on, kids. Let's go. Kids, everybody. Come on, kids. Everybody stand right here.
good question. Is your hopes on your retirement? Is your hopes based on your education? Is it based on your uh, status in the society? For none of that matters, we stand before God. None of that's going to matter. Amen? What matters is if you were saved or not. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. Because if you did, friend, I'd have no hope. But I have hope tonight. Why? Amen. My hope is in Jesus Christ. But before I was saved, I, I trusted in myself a whole lot. I figured I could make my way. My mom and dad tried to tell me, don't go over here, don't go do that. When I was 18, uh, I was a man, I thought. I went my own way. And at all the time, I think about that, I went out to Ohio when I was 18, uh, thinking I was just going to be a man and make my own way, but I found myself as a part of the Sunday. Right. I found myself in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I came back home. Yeah, right. Amen. I came back home. And, and I sat uh, at my mom's house. After having an appendix surgery, I couldn't do much. And didn't have anything. As far as this world was concerned, but I had a knock on the door. It was my cousin and Oh, the door. She said, Buddy, you want to go to church with me tonight? I said, Sure, I'll go. And I went and I was saved. And that's when I started becoming, amen, uh, a Christian. That, that's when I became who I really was because I was so conformed to the world. If you knew me before I was saved, I, I, I've told this many times. I, I used to walk with a limp like I was cool. And I used to, uh, my pants was down the so far that the, uh, I just about used the bathroom standing up. Uh, I was like hello, that. Hello, hello, you see, hello, I, I wanted to be just like every other cool guy was. I was a fool. I prayed to be God when I got saved. Uh, not only did I get happy as a piece, uh, I started wearing my pants right. Amen. Uh, God will do that to you, friend. And he'll change the way you think, the way you dress, the way you act. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He'll make you a new creature. Yeah. Amen, bro. Amen. I'm glad he did. Yeah. I'm glad he did. Because I tell you what, friend, I didn't like who I was. I did not like who I was. Amen. I'm glad that I am what I am by the grace of God today. I'm glad I'm forgiven. I'm glad that if you were to go look at my bank account, you'd probably smile a little bit because there's nothing there. Amen. You might go to my house and, and might not be impressed. But listen, my friend, it's all temporary. Yeah. It's all temporary. Yeah. Amen. Uh, my hope is beyond this life. Yeah. Amen. And that's where yeah. my hope is. And yeah. hey, listen, my friend, when I die, I'll get that reward. Yeah. Amen. Right. I'll get that just reward. The Bible promised me. Yeah. And it's easy. It's not complicated. Yeah. You believe in your heart. And confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ, amen. That's all you got to do. Please, he died for you. It's it. It's not complicated. It's not hard. It's very simple, amen. Uh, you know, uh, I know a lot of preachers can uh, can verify this when they, when they pray and they, they ask God, uh, Lord, uh, give me a message that you will have me to preach and uh, give me a, 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 something that will just touch their heart, something simple. Yeah. And, I, and I'll do that one day and and uh, he gave me a, uh, the simplest thing. It, it was of a child story about Humpty Dumpty. And, and I don't know why I'm saying this, but uh, I prayed. I said, God, uh, uh, make it simple. And we all know the Humpty Dumpty story. Uh, Humpty Dumpty uh, uh, sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king, king horses and all the king men uh, couldn't put Humpty back together again. <laughs> but you see, he had no hope. But there's hope in Jesus Christ, friend. I want to say it again, but I'm going to continue with what God gave me. Uh, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king men couldn't be, put Humpty back together again. But a man named Jesus came walking his way and said, Humpty, wilt thou be whole this day? And Humpty asked Jesus for Jesus. And Jesus put Humpty back together again. Amen. You see, uh, the world, my friend, 
friend, the world has no hope. Yeah. He thought that when you're broke, but my friend, Jesus Christ, can put you back together. Yeah. Yeah. Is your marriage about broke? Guess what, friend? I know a real good marriage counselor. Yeah. Amen? Hey, is your life spiraling out of control? Listen, my friend, uh, grab the reins of the Bible. It'll get you back in order. Amen? If you think that you're all right, you're not, friend. If you don't have Jesus Christ, I promise you, you're not all right. Don't let the devil fool you. Don't let him think that you're all right because you're a pretty good guy or a pretty good girl. I thought that for myself, too. Mom, Mom and Dad raised me right. I was good uh, when, I, when I wasn't uh, uh, out of myself and being ignorant. They raised me right, but I wasn't saved. I had no hope until I came to Jesus Christ. Amen. Anybody else have a song of testimony before it's all saved?
a hold of Sam or anybody else in time to bring one. So you're just going to get whatever the Lord gives us. Amen. Look past our mistakes, listen to the words. Amen. It's about the Lord anyway. Amen. It ain't about how well I can Amen. do it or how well I can't do it. It's about giving praise unto God. Amen.
I can. You know what? I know I've been sealed till the day of redemption. He'll take me. Jesus will come and take me away. And forever I'll be in a beautiful. 
I'm going to live with the saints in glory someday. Y'all yeah. better take the brakes off. You ever try to pull out in your car with your emergency brake step down? There's a little lever down on the left side, most of them. You pull that little lever and it'll free right up. If you'll just do that tonight and just let the Lord have his way, free this thing up. Praise God tonight. And if you run the aisle, just be careful and don't get hurt. Praise God. It's, I'm glad to be an old-time Christian. I'm not backward. I'm not a bit ashamed. I'm not a bit nervous to tell anybody, brother, that my sins are under the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. Hallelujah. My life was a wreck with burdens and sin. Had no one to comfort, Lord, my poor soul with him. I drifted afar on life's stormy sea. My life was so dark and lonely for me. But I heard of a man who died on a cross <laughs> to save poor sin sick souls, Lord, in a world that was lost. Then I called on Jesus. His precious blood covered me. He lifted my burdens and he set me free. <laughs> I know I've been seen till the day of redemption. When Jesus will come and take me away and forever I'm going to live with you saints in glory someday. <laughs> Ain't it good to be a child of God? Yeah. I'll tell you what, folks. You better take care. You better do what I said now. You better reach down there and pull that and let the brakes off because this little preacher to come is going to wake this whole place up. You better get ready. We need to get ready, brother. We need Jesus. And I'll tell you, if you're here and don't know it, don't be a bit of a shame to stand for it.
I think we can sing that loud. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King, His royal blood now flows through my veins, and I, who was wretched and poor, now can see. This song has been, um, <coughs> it's been on my heart for quite a while with my tongue. I have to travel a lot. I have to visit a lot of families that are poor. and um, Some of them are not poor, just they're poor in spirit. They don't know. They go through things that you wouldn't even can fathom. And I travel to their house and so I don't even know what I'm going into. And I just say, Lord, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to meet me there, but Lord, I want you to protect me. And there's a song on the radio that says, God's angel army watching over me. And this song just has been on my heart for a whole month. It's been a long time since I've sang this one. When I'm broken from the battle and I've lost another round, <laughs> Satan whispers to my troubled mind, Amen. just lay your Turn your eyes to 
When the King of Kings comes back to take me home And we'll all be gathered there around God's throne And we'll all be singing there He is the Lamb Praise God, He is the Lamb He gave His life for me And He died so that I might live again He is ever interceding to the Father there for me He's my Savior, He's my Lord, He is the Lamb. I really didn't want to sing that song. <laughs> Lord, want me to sing it, so I just built it out. You know, uh, uh, He is my all in all tonight. He is my Savior, He's my friend. Hey Amen. Uh, he is my all in all. That one day, uh, when I stand before Him, praise God, I'm going to hug Him, I think, for about 10,000 years. It ain't going to matter because time not going to matter. Amen. I just can't wait to that day, brother Johnny. I have hope. I have hope beyond this life. Amen. Uh, at this time, uh, uh, we're going to call uh, uh, the preacher. And uh, if you never heard him, uh, uh, praise be to God. Listen, uh, I'm glad you're not here uh, to get your ear tickled. If you are, you're at the wrong church. Amen. Uh, but if you're here to hear the gospel, amen, uh, uh, you're at the right place. Amen. Uh, uh, as we, uh, as uh, the uh, Brother Audie Murphy comes, you all pray for him. Amen. Uh, lift him up. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, the devil does not want uh, preachers to preach. He does not want singers to sing. Uh, he don't want pastors to pastor. Uh, he don't want deacons to do their jobs. He don't want you to come to church. Yeah. We got to overcome that, friend. Uh, we got to lift each other up, bear one another's burdens. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, my friend, it ain't always that I'm real strong. I need your strength. Amen. It ain't ever going to be time where you ain't going to be very strong. And you're going to need some of my strength. Amen. Uh, we got to help one another. On this life, Amen. It's hard enough to fight the devil between fighting one, two, ourselves. One, two. Testing, Amen. One, two. Uh, Christ called us to love one another. Testing one, two. Amen. Uh, do you have anybody that uh, that you're at all with? Amen. Do you have anybody that you uh, uh, you're arguing with? Amen. Listen, we need to get it fixed up. Amen. I hear you got his mic working. Amen. Amen. Now, come on, brother Artie. Amen. I'm gonna try to sing this song. Okay. <laughs> I said, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. I said, I know, I know the Lord God, God Almighty. He laid his hand on me. I said, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. I said, I know, I know the Lord God Almighty. I said, I know, I know the Lord. Listen, let me tell you this. I was sitting there on what they called that mother's bench. I was filled with misery. Listen, but the same God that touched my mama one day stopped by and laid his hands on me. I said, I know, I know the love. I said, I know, I know, the Lord God Almighty. Ooh, I know, I know, the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. He laid his hand, he laid his hand on Say it one more time. Ooh, I was sitting there on what they call the mother's bench. I was filled, filled with misery. But the same God that touched my mother one day stopped by and laid his hand on me I said I know, I know the Lord God Almighty I said I know, I know the Lord God Almighty I know the Lord God Almighty He laid his hand, laid his hand Listen, 
Let me tell you where it is. Listen. He laid his hands on me and set my soul free. Save my sin sick soul. Made my body whole. He laid his hand. He laid his hand on Say it one more time. He laid his hands on me. Set my soul Save my sin sick soul. Made my body, made my body whole. Then he laid his hand. He laid his hand Come on, fellas, can we say it one more time? He laid his hand on me, set my set soul, my soul free. Then he saved my soul, sick soul. Made my body, made my body whole. He laid his hand. He laid his hand on me. Can we say it like this? He laid his hand on me. Yes, he laid, he laid his hands on me. Somebody said he laid his hands on me. He laid his hands on me. He laid his hands on me. Set my soul. Set my soul free. He laid his hands on me. He laid his hands on me. Set my soul free. I can tell you one day about that mourner's bench. One Monday evening. I he said right laid there on me. One Tuesday he evening on me. I he said right there One Wednesday night on me. I he said right there Thursday came And I still said that But on Friday evening On Friday evening One Friday evening One Friday evening I sit right there on that mourner's bench. My feet got the moving, my legs got the moving, my hands started waving. I couldn't be still. I fell like a rabbit on the Yes, I did. He laid his hand. He laid his hand on me. Said that I couldn't be still. Said that I couldn't be still. He laid his hand all over my body. He laid his hand all over my body. I wanna tell my mother how he laid his hand. I ran home and tell my father how he laid his hand. I wanna tell everybody that Jesus did it. That Jesus did it That Jesus did it I fell like shout on me I fell like dancing I couldn't be still Cause he laid his hands on me Oh oh He laid his hands on me Jesus laid his hands on me Oh yeah I know that he did it I know that he did it my feet got light on me. Ah, I couldn't be still. Cause he laid his hands on me. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. He laid his hands on me. Let me tell you one time he laid his hands on me. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. We, we may well go ahead and have a good time in the Lord because I already heard about how the house was rocking last night. And I say, well, praise the Lord. Isn't he wonderful? He's immaculate, and we love the Lord. Why? Because he heard our cry. He pitied out of every groan. And as long as we live and trouble arrives, we shall hasten to his throne. Amen. Praise the Lord. I've never fortunate It's probably too late now Oh, but I don't worry about that much Cause I'm happy anyhow As I go along I'm reaping better than I've sown. I'm drinking from my saucer. Cause my 
I've been through some storms and yes I'm sure that there's been times when well my faith might have gotten just a little thin. but you know oh. and that old son she starts shaking. help me by my mountain help me along the way oh I love you Lord in your arms I'll You know, his, his, his mercy, his mercy endureth forever. Amen. And uh, you may not have recognized the, the last few verses uh, that was in there, but uh, when you have been on the evangelist trail for so long, uh, you learn how to improvise. Amen. And, and uh, so I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not going to act like I... Uh, uh, designed that from time past, amen. But I know one thing, he blessed you right on the moment. Am I right about it? Amen. God is good. We have a house full tonight. I tell you what, I believe that God is going to truly bless us like he did on last night so that the preacher that's coming tomorrow night, all he have to do is just get up under his wings. Amen. Amen. It's good to be back with you again. Uh, my name is Artie Murphy, for those of you who do not know me, uh, but we have been evangelizing throughout the years for the Lord, and he is a good God, he is a gracious God, he's most holy and all wise, and I know you know him for yourself, because I already heard about you, amen, but if you would, turn with me to the gospel, according to, uh, yes, Luke. Let's go to Luke tonight, and I'm, I'm, I'm can I uh, disregard this coat? I, I, I don't want to be out of order, amen. Uh, I recognize the preacher in the front row here, amen. I remember seeing him uh, a while back, 
And uh, amen, a as usual, amen. God is good. And uh, we thank God for you. Uh, on Facebook the other night, I, I believe I, I, I said, Pat, Jamie, everybody immediately uh, corrected me in fun. Amen. I like it. Amen. You're allowed to make an error and, and laugh at it. Amen. And, and they grow, hold your hand and laugh with you. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Can I get an amen? amen? It's good to be in the land of the living. Amen. amen. I don't know about you, but uh, two years ago, uh, the devil tried to take me out. And uh, God said, not so. Amen. 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 That boy got a lot of work to do. He's not getting out that easy. Amen. So I, I had cancer, and, and, and God came in and, and eradicated it, and I'm still here. Amen. Do we have anybody in the house tonight ever been through anything? Have you been through some trials or some tribulations or car wrecks or hospital visits or a doctor visit or lawyer visit? But notwithstanding, we know that he is Jehovah Rapha. Amen. He'll heal the cancer. He'll heal the body. And he is also El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty. Amen. So, so, so excuse me if I get a little crazy tonight because he's done a lot for me. I don't know what he's done for you, but when I think about how he has blessed me, my soul jumps up in a rapture of delight. Amen. So notice with me in Luke, the 17th chapter, if you would. I was going to uh, preach on standing. By the time I got up here, uh, it had changed. Uh, uh, the reason you heard the, the, uh, the faster song in the beginning is because I have to continue to uh, uh, practice, and oftentimes we be in youth revivals, and uh, the youth, they are pumped up. Uh, you're not with me. Amen. Uh, uh, the youth get excited, so you have to get excited with them. Amen. You, you, you can't come in a youth revival dragging like a snail. Praise God. You have, hey, they'll run you out. Amen. Uh, you have to be on fire for God. Let's talk about the ten uh, lepers men tonight, if you would. Would you stand with me for the reading of God's word? I will not uh, uh, rush tonight because uh, we have a revival starting on Saturday night at Moore, Moore Street Tabernacle in Kentucky. So uh, I have to get my voice ready for that uh, right now. now uh, stay with me now. The, first, uh, the 11th verse of the 17th chapter of the gospel According to Luke, I would that you read that with me. This is a familiar passage of scripture. If you heard this sermon before, help me preach it. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 in the 11th verse, I'm going to read, and you're going to read the 12th verse. And he, it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And uh, they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Let's read 15 together. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice, glorified God. Let us pray. Father, we stretch our hands to thee. No other help we know. If thou would draw thyself from us, whither shall we go? You have taught us to look unto the hills from which cometh our help. Our help comes from you. For you are the one who made both heaven and earth, and you will not suffer our feet to be moved. Thou, thou, you are the one that have kept Israel, and we know as the church that you will keep us as well. And present us before our Father as the bride of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. And the beloved of God say it. Amen. Amen. We have to choose a subject because oftentimes folks, they write things down. Uh, tonight, we would like to preach on the subject, let me live again. Amen. Now, uh, again, if you feel like preaching this with me tonight, 
do so. Uh, I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about where we are going. I'm excited about where he has brought me from. I don't know what he's done for you. Amen. But when I think about the goodness of God, see, I don't, I, I, I've learned a long time ago, whenever you realize and recognize what God has done for you, you can cheer yourself up. Amen. Oh, I wish I had some help tonight. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, subject tonight, let me live again. Now, there may be someone here tonight who uh, used to be in church. Uh, shall I say used to be in Christ but for some reason or for some accident or some circumstances and sometimes life can just throw you a curve can I get a witness tonight uh, sometimes stuff just happens amen and uh, it wasn't your fault it wasn't God's fault it was just life Oh, I wish I had some help tonight. See, I, I, I found out that, that I can't blame God for stuff that happens to me. Amen. Uh, I can't blame the devil sometimes for stuff that happens to me. Sometimes I have to blame me. Oh, I, 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 wish, I, I wish I had a witness tonight. Uh, uh, because when, when I learned to pray and sometimes I pray, Lord, hide me from me. Oh, you, you don't hear me. You, you don't hear me. Because oftentimes the flesh uh, uh, tried to be the dominant one. And, and, and Paul said that we war against the flesh. And, 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 and just because you beat him one time, that does not mean nor negate the fact that he will not rise up again. Can, can I get a witness tonight? But notwithstanding, stuff happens to the flesh as well. And there are things that can tear the body down. In this particular instance, it was called leprosy. Are you with me? Now, 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 get this, because leprosy was likened unto sin. Yeah, yeah, there was no cure. Unless God stepped in. Oh, can I get a witness tonight? And uh, I want you to know something tonight. If you have sin leprosy tonight, I know a man who can. Oh, you, you're not with me. If, 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 if you have a condition that if Jesus should come right now, You'll find yourself in a devil's hell. I know a God who can change things. Uh, uh, you, you, Lord have mercy. Uh, do you know him, church? Uh, uh, somebody said his name is Jesus. And oh, how sweet the name. Uh, I, I don't know if you know it or not, but there's something about that name. Somebody said that every knee shall bow up under that name. That every tongue shall confess that he's Lord and glory hallelujah to God I want you to know that every name that is named has to submit to the name of Jesus so if you have cancer tonight cancer have to submit because cancer is a name oh glory and every name that is named has to come up under the name of Jesus and by virtue of that, whenever it comes up under the name, that means that it has to come up under the blood. You, 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 you see, the, 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 the elders are the older folks, are the senior citizens to be politically correct. They used to not say so many words. Oh, they had a few words, and, and whenever trouble would invade their house, when, whenever danger would camp about them, all they would do is just plead the blood. Oh, you're not with me. Well, I, I, I feel right good right now. I, we don't have to give a big dialogue. All we have to do is plead the blood. Marriage in trouble, plead the blood. Kid is being hard-headed. Plead the blood. Husband won't work. Plead. <laughs> oh, all you have to do is plead the blood. The blood that washes away sins. The blood that cleans. There's power in the blood. Yes, just as sure as the power in the name. There's power in the blood. 
Oh, Jesus was walking by one day, and the Bible said that there came ten men unto him that were lepers. Bible said they stood afar off, hindered, but not denied. I want you to know tonight, there are a lot of things that will hinder you from coming to church. Oh, I wish I had some help. Sometimes we'll let our job hinder us. Uh, we'll put more pride into overtime than we do Bible study time. Oh, I, I wish I had some help. Oh, I don't mean to hurt you tonight, but this is revival. Uh, revival is to put us on alert. Revival is to awaken us. Revival is to rejuvenate us. Revival is to inspire us, enlighten us, motivate us. Amen. Oh, I wish I had some help tonight. And uh, I want you to know that they came. Even though there was a hindrance, they overcame that hindrance. And the child of God is an overcomer. Yeah. I just want you to know that tonight. Maybe there's somebody that's not feeling too good right now. Mm. You are an overcomer. Uh, maybe there's somebody that the Satan has beat down. Uh, but you are an overcomer. Maybe there's somebody tonight that think that there's no hope. Oh, I just stopped by East Lynn by way tonight to tell you you are an overcomer. And if God be for you, God Almighty, who can be against you? Leprosy, not so. Woo! Death, not so. Broke, busted, not so. Because God has a plan and a purpose for your life. All you have to do is Recognize and realize Amen. that you are in his divine plan. It's not about you. Mm. Once I felt that out, Pastor, that it wasn't about me, I was all right. Amen. Had more victories, yeah. more triumphs, less denials. God, he's always by our side. Amen. All we have to do is call on the name of the Lord. He said, call upon me. Woo! Hey, glory. Oh, he said, my ears are not deaf that I can't hear you. My arms are not short. Talk to me, Isaiah. So short that I can't save you. Call on the Lord. And David said that he'll hear your cry. And not only will he hear your cry, but he will pity your every groan. So David came to this conclusion. As long as I live, because I know he's done it for, he did it for me. I know he brought me out of the mark and the mire. I know that he saved me from danger seen and unseen. I, as long as I live. And trouble arise. In other words, when trouble come after me, like a flood, good God Almighty, David said, I'll hasten. That means I hurry up. I'll run to his throne. Whenever trouble is on your trail, run to Jesus. Whenever you get this run to Jesus when hell assail run to Jesus in his arms you will find safety you will find love you will find comfort in the arms of the Lord oh I am I right about it oh my god these guys came and uh, they came with boldness. Because whenever we come to the Lord, we must come boldly. Don't come like Minnie Mouse. Uh, like Mickey Mouse. No, 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 no. When you come, come believing. 
the Bible said, come believing that he is, and he is a rewarder of them Amen. that diligently seek him. Come boldly to the throne of grace that ye may obtain mercy and find grace. Good God Almighty. In the time of need. So need him. I know God. So I'm going to get to him. Good God Almighty. I'm not going to run to the doctor. I, I'm not going to run to the Lord. I'm not going to run to the banker. When I'm broke, I'll run to Jesus because he said a cow on a thousand hills is mine. Oh, glory. I, I feel my help in the house tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, Sometimes we get a little coof and a little animated, but whenever the spirit gets on you, you can't help yourself. Uh, stay with me now. These guys, they, they hollering out the name. What, what name are they hollering out? They hollering out Jesus. I told you there's something about that name. And uh, the Bible said, and when he saw them, good God Almighty, I want you to know that if you cry out, you'll get his attention. Oh, can I get some help? Oh, you get a crying baby in the house. That baby get your attention. Oh, come on now. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Cry out to Jesus. He'll hear your cry. And uh, notice what he told him. I'm not going to hold you long tonight. Notice that he said, go. Are you with me? Uh, they had a problem. Uh, they were dead. They were leprosy. They were alienated. They were set apart into the colony of lepers. They were actually dead men walking. It was just a matter of time. Oh, but King Jesus. I heard somebody call him the ancient one. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Somebody said he's the word of life. The bright and moaning star. He heard their cry. And he had pity, or shall I say, mercy. Mm. They were dead. If you're here tonight and you do not know Jesus, you are dead in your trespasses and sin. Uh, you're not by yourself. Been there. Amen. Done that. Pastor been there. Preacher been there. Elders been there. Saints been there. Because all. Amen. Amen. Can I get fire from you over here, Doc? Amen. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. All have sinned and come short of the glory. Of God. Uh, that's not a pretty sinner. Because sin is foul. Sin is unholy. Sin is separation. And ain't nothing pretty about that. Oh, I, oh you're not with me. You're going to sleep on me now. Uh, they were dead. But I want you to know that they wasn't the first one that died. Uh can I take you back to Genesis in about five minutes, have you back here, and we'll go home. Is that all right? Uh, in the book of Genesis, <clears throat> God said, let us. Are you with me? Oh, I wish I had some help tonight. Let us make man. Uh, there was a committee meeting call. Oh, you're not with me? Uh, the Godhead. The Father, oh, I know you're right about it. Son and Holy Ghost. Oh, he knows Bible. Uh, are you with me? Uh, but one thing about this is the simple fact that he called a meeting with himself. Yeah. Amen. Oh, you're not with me? Uh, somebody say clarified, preacher. 
I'm glad you asked. And uh, he called a meeting with himself, representing by himself for himself. Uh, you'll find out that it was for him because he said it's good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, you know what I mean? And uh, he said, let us, are you with me, preacher? Make man and, 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 and let us make him after our image and after our likeness. Uh, I come to tell the church tonight, if you are saved and covered by the blood, in other words, long story short, if you're born again. Ah! Are you with me? If, if you're born again, I got news for you. You look just like God. That's the reason I had somebody to tell me, clarify it in the first place. Oh, I can't leave you right there. I, I, I got to clarify it. And, uh, but you do. You look just like God. Uh, now, I know your friends jump back and say, who in the world do you think he is? Yeah. Boy, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Cancer did more to him than what he know. Come on now. And, uh, but then he say, he said, let us make man after our, our image and after our likeness. And the Bible said he made man. He reached down and he molded man from the dust of the earth. Uh, am I right about it? And uh, man was just standing down. And all of a sudden, the Bible said that the Holy Ghost came down and breathed the breath of life. Oh, I feel like, but I'm older now. I can't shout like I used to. Oh, but I'm 59 now, but I used to be 29. And ah, take off run in a minute. Glory, hallelujah. Stay with me now. And uh, he said, what? Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost came down and, and completed the order of things and breathed the breath of life into man or Adam. And man be king. Me. Oh, you, give me five days. Don't, don't play with me now. And man be came. You got to shout now. Amen. You, when you sit on the second row, you got to throw down a shout. Good God Almighty. Hey, am I right about it? I, I know I'm right about it now. Uh, and man did what? Man be. He wasn't nothing until he came forth. And man be. A living soul. Good God Almighty. Before the Holy Ghost breathed into him, he was a dual being. He was just standing there. But now, he's a tripod being. He looked just like the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because now he is man. Woo! With your spirit, body, and soul. Glory. Now he is a tripod being. And that's just like God. Three in. He made man after his likeness. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, soul, spirit, and body. Three in one. Triune. Tripod. Three in God Almighty. There's more to us than meat. There's something special about you. You are a tripod being. There's three in one. And guess what? If you had the power that God has, you could tell each one to separate. The Father can be one place 
and the husband could be at Red Lobster with the wife. Oh, you're not with me, but you're not God. So three got to stay in one. Good God Almighty. Anyone getting to understand tonight? Man became a living soul. But, oh Lord. Can I, this is Bible study now. Can I take my time? Amen. Give me two more minutes. But, the devil wanted to thwart God's plan. So the devil entered into the garden. There, the green grass, the ripe, beautiful fruit of the garden, the flowers in the garden, and God had commanded man. He didn't ask him. He commanded him of every tree thou shalt eat thereof. But don't touch this. Lord, have mercy. I had to slow it down because I don't want to leave nobody behind. But this right here, don't touch. And the devil, the sly, slick, and the wicked one. You know him, that serpent. The deceiver. Oh, you know him. The accuser of the brethren. Oh, you, you know him. Somebody done talked about you, so you know him. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He came in and deceived Eve. Didn't he do it? And Eve ate of the fruit. And then Eve gave to Adam, and Adam ate thereof. And all of a sudden, from that moment on, man died. He died, his spirit man died. And man no longer have a living soul. Good God Almighty. He was banished from the garden. And ever since that moment, man has been crying out, let me live again. Because ever since that fall, he ceased and desists from being a tripod bean or a three-part bean. And now he's a dual bean and something is missing. Oh, you can attest to that. Oh, I've been out there. I, I, I've been in sin. And I, I always felt like something was missing. Try, I tried to fill it up with money, but it couldn't fill that void. I tried to fill it up with running around, but it, it couldn't fill that void. Trying to fill it up with dope cocaine speed. Ah! It could not fill that void. Tried to fill it up with Jack Daniel or vodka, alcohol or reefer, but it could not fill that void. The only one that is able to fill that vacant spot is the one who occupied the spot before. It's the spirit of God in your life. And no matter how relentless you try to pursue happiness, you will never find it without Jesus. You can be given hundreds of millions of years, but if you don't have Jesus, you will never find it. But once we submit to Jesus, he'll come in and occupy that space and you will feel better than you ever felt before Amen. Oh! you will be testifying in church I wish I did it a long time ago yeah. ah! don't know why I waited so long yeah. oh but there's something about this man Jesus yeah. so man has been seeking, seeking and searching to live again. I'm, I'm gonna, can, we, can we stop by the Valley of Dry Bones before we head to Calvary? 
Because notwithstanding in the book of Ezekiel, uh, God asked him a question. <laughs> he said, uh, so man, uh, can these bones, oh Lord, oh I feel my Alabama root coming up in me now, <laughs> live again. <laughs> and uh, he said, Lord, thy knowest, <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> and then he told Ezekiel, preacher, <laughs> speak. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Hey, prophesy, speak to the bones. And then he did that. Didn't he do it? Didn't it? Because man was living up, but he wasn't dressed up. Are you with me? Uh, we all time try to live higher than our means. And uh, it was a valley of dry bones. Then Ezekiel began to prophesy. The Bible said that bone came to bone. Said the toe bone came to the feet bone. And the feet bone came oh, to the ankle bone. And the ankle bone came to the... Oh, glory, hallelujah. And the knee bone came to the... Yeah, glory, hallelujah. And the leg bone came to the... God Almighty, yes it did. Didn't it do it? Amen. Yes it did. Because man was just without Jesus. Without Jesus. That's, what is that? A skeleton. A what? A skeleton. Without Jesus, you just... Uh, The old folks say a rack of bones. Yeah. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. That's without Jesus. But bone did come to bone. And all of a sudden, man was standing upright again. And then he said, speak to the wind. And the wind came and blew up on those bones. And all of a sudden, the spirit of God caused man to live. But this was just a temporary stay because this is Old Testament. And it blew. It was on them and not permanently in. Amen. Can I get a witness? Am I right about it? Yeah, see, the Old Testament was just a tax master. Uh, it was something that I hold you for a while. But the Bible said from three and two generations, uh, the Christ child. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. He came. Amen. Did he do it? The Old Testament prophets moved from under the power of God. But Jesus said, I will no longer tabernacle in tents, but in. So now he tabernacles in me. So now there's more to me than meet the eye. Anybody ask you just who you are or who I am, you just tell them, I am redeemed. I've been bought with the price. Jesus has changed my whole life. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm... Amen. We are the redeemed of the Lord. And the word redeemed is, means to be seen again. Yeah. So he see me. Oh, yes, the way I should be. The way I used to be in the beginning. When you come to Jesus, you are redeemed. And you are seen again. Now you look just like God. Tripod. I wasn't talking about your mug. Ha! I was talking about you. Know this. That Jesus said. 
Because there needed to be a permanent fix. Give me one minute. There needed to be a permanent fix. Because telling prophets to blow or to call for the wind, the four winds to blow, that was just a temporary stay. But in the fullness of time, I'm closing now. God sinned his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. He came to die to buy my pardon. Somebody will tell you there's an empty grave over there. Is that for a reason? To prove that my Savior, he lives. Don't he live? Oh, you're not with me? I can't hear you in the back. Uh, he lives. Yes, he lives. He lives. He lives. Down in my soul. Somebody said my sanctified soul. Because I don't care what the nomination you belongs to. When you are born again, you have a sanctified. Oh, I wish you let me teach you this tonight. Glory, hallelujah. There's not one people that own that word sanctified. Ah, you've been sanctified too. You're going to drive me crazy up in this house. And, uh, so Jesus came. I, I, I gotta shut this down. And we, let's fast forward and let's let's just let's just go to the garden. Can, can I fast forward and skip over the age of twelve and I being in the synagogue, stop it, astonishing the lawyers and lawyers and stuff. Let's just get to Calvary. In order to get to Calvary, my brother, uh, he had to get something else back. Uh, because before man lost. His life. Before man so died. Which was his real life. He lost his will. Power. Oh you're not with me. Uh, will power is very important. Because if you don't have any will power. You'll be quitting drinking every weekend. Right about I, I don't know you, so I got to tell my own story. Oh, come on now. Uh, when my wife got sick and tired of me, and I was sick and tired of me. Uh, had a hangover. Money gone. I, I quit. And soon as Friday night came, party. Good God. Oh, my. Without willpower, I felt myself quitting every weekend. Because I had to go to work on Monday morning. But Lord God Almighty, as soon as Friday night came, I forgot about that pledge. Because I didn't have no willpower. When Adam messed up, the first thing he lost was willpower. Because when he ate of the fruit of the vine, what he was saying to God was, because God told him not to do it. He didn't tell Eve. He told Adam. Because Adam was the head of the family. And when he ate of the fruit of the vine, what he was saying was, not as thy wilt, but what I will. And he went against the will of the Father. Because God won't make you do nothing. He's not going to twist your arm to stay in church. He's not going to twist your arm to go to heaven. Baby, we're not doing God a favor by coming to church. Oh, you're not with me. It's he who has a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. It is he that is commander in chief. It is he. This is a theocracy. 
not a democracy. It's God ruled. Pastor can't tell it. Deacons can't tell it. God has to say so. Good. It's not about me and the pastor. It's all about him. Oh, I, 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 I didn't mean to get off on that. Oh, stay with me now. Let's, uh, let's go to the garden. Oh, you don't, you don't went to sleep like Peter did, didn't you? And uh, he went, Jesus went back to the rock. And notice what he did. He took it back to the garden. Adam lost his willpower in the garden of. And Jesus came to get it back in the garden of. And guess what? When you do the locale, it's a close relationship now. But notwithstanding, he prayed. Did he not? Oh, I'm going to shut you down. He prayed, Father, not as. He put the eye in the right place. Yes, he did did not as I will but be done it's hard but do what you want to do I'm sweating great drops of blood but do what you want to do I may not understand it but do what you want to do I know it's going to work out by and by just let God take total control and he'll lead and guide you into all truth. He will be a light unto your path and a lamp unto your feet. Yes, he will. And he won man willpower back in the garden because of the blood that was shed in the garden. Good God Almighty. Now he's taking it to Calvary. Good. Mm. He's hanging right there. Refuse to come down. Why did he do it, preacher? Because he was being obedient to the Father. How important it is for us to be obedient. It's better. Oh, I know you're right. And he had the willpower because he got it in the garden. And he hung right there. And he said, Father. Oh, can I go ahead and take one more second? Into thy hand. Commend my spirit. He laid his head in the locks of his shoulder. And gave up the ghost. Somebody said the devil beat him. The devil won. But he said. No man. Take my life. I lay it down. In other words. He knew that it was a purpose and that death had its purpose and Satan had his purpose. So what did he do? He submitted. I'm sorry. Ow! He submitted unto death because he knew that death had its purpose. But he said, I'll be back <laughs> Did, oh, I, I, I forgot I said two minutes he went down but he got up he went over into Abraham was these those that was under the law oh glory hallelujah and then he got up he got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. He took it so quick that death didn't even know it was gone. He shook 
hell and he shook death and said, Oh grave, where is the oh death, where is thy victory? Oh grave, where is thy sting? There is a sting in death. We had it around, but notwithstanding, he took it back and he got up that we may live also and that we may live again. So, ye must be. Come on, singers. Ye must be. Born again. Amen. Amen. And it is possible. You can be born again tonight. You can be made to feel like a new creature. Old things passed away. All things. Am I right about it? Do you want to live again? Are you in the house if you're undone? If you're without the father or his son, you can live again. You can be made alive. All you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. There's a miracle in your motion. All you have to do is come forth. Believe God tonight. And if you should depart from this place, you will be with him. Over yonder. In the by and by. As the singers come. They must want me to preach more. Come on girls. Where you at? The sing what was the singer's name? Uh, blessed. Come on blessed. Bless me tonight. One of them recognized that he was healed. Turned back. With a loud voice. The leopard. Glorified God. Fell down on his face at his feet. Looked up. Saying, I just want to thank you. Good God Almighty. And Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. The others got what they wanted, but you got what you needed. Good God Almighty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It happens like sometimes. Yes! Get what you need tonight. Don't leave this place undone. Don't leave this place dead when you can live again. Don't be embarrassed. I've been there. I don't think there's too many people in here that snort more cocaine than I did. Come on now. Amen. A lot of folks say, well, why do you say all that? I'm not trying to tell you how bad I was. I'm trying to tell you how good God is. Yes. He'll pick you up. Yes, he will. And when you recognize and know that somebody out there is worse than you, it's more easy to come. God, I'm not like that guy, but save me. Because good old boys need to be saved too. Amen. Would you stand with me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take my time. I got to go home. Pastor, there's a sweet spirit in this house. I can see why everybody was on Facebook telling me what was going on here. I couldn't wait to get here. Amen. I said, the Spirit is already there. I'm set up. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. All y'all do is just run in there and say, <laughs> Amen. 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 Any preacher can preach up under this power that is in this house. 
The power is here for a reason. But it also said, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit. Amen. If you can feel something tugging on your heart as the singer sing, if you can feel that, and if you can feel it, yield to Jesus tonight. Submit. And I can Listen. see. A long dark valley ahead of me. Listen, listen. I don't have Would you bow your heads with me? Listen. To pass listen. This trial. Bow your heads. Everyone have their heads bowed. Let the Holy Spirit move on the altar of your heart right now. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what dungeon you're in. I don't know the demons that got you locked up. But I do know I had my demons. I had my dark days and I had a share of my dead end streets. I've been there. And it's, it's no fun. I've been to the end of my rope and Maybe you're in the house tonight and you thought about giving up. You thought about throwing in the towel. We didn't come here for no show, no form, no fashion. We came here to proclaim that name that is above every name. No hidden agendas. Just want to pray with you. We have preachers in the house that's ready to meet you at the altar. Don't hold back. Don't do that. Don't think that your life is so important that you will be embarrassed to go forth. Don't, don't, don't listen to the liar. Don't, don't listen to the devil. He's a liar doesn't matter who you are if you don't have the blood you're headed for a devil's hell you'll never get over that problem it'll never get fixed if you don't surrender all you have to do latch on church all you have to do, all you have to do, all you have to do, if you feel like walking out tonight, come on, come on, take me by the hand, come on, come on, come on, come on, if you're here tonight, come on, walk with me, would you do that, you're lost without him does not matter your age you still need Jesus mm -hmm. do you love me? Oh, don't turn him oh, saints why don't feel you come out and pray tonight? Pray for the revival tonight. Would you do that? Keep on singing. Give us a few saints to pray at the altar. Pray for the revival. Pray for the community. Don't be ashamed. Out here, I could do nothing. Out here, I surely fail. Without him, my life would be again like a sheep without. I sail 
Thank God he sent his son. The church is praying. The church is praying. Say it, sis. What a mighty God we serve. Bless you, bless you, young lady. Bless you. Bless you, my brother. Bless you, my brother. Good to see you again. One day when they 
lay me in a casket and they won't buy me. Let's say yeah. Yeah, he had hope. How about you, friend? Until Jesus passed by. How about it? Oh, what a change Are you tired of running? Are you tired? Are you tired of trying to live your life the way you want to live it and ain't working out? It won't. But it will in Christ. May God bless you. Amen. 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 We do thank do thank God for, for passing by our way. We th- we thank Brother Audie for coming and bless singing. We we appreciate you coming and guess what? The Lord appreciates it. Amen. Amen. And every time we come to church, uh, just like Brother Audie said, uh, listen, we're not doing God a favor, we're doing ourselves a favor. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's strength here. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen, my friend, uh, tomorrow night, if the world's still standing, we'll be here. Amen. Uh, try to make it out and bring somebody with you. Amen. Uh, to hear the gospel and hear the singing. Amen. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, Jeremiah Williamson tomorrow. And uh, uh, we're going to have, uh, uh, it's gospel heritage singing? No. Ronnie and Beth Briggs. It used, used to be Salvation Rain, but it's uh, Ronnie and Beth Briggs now. Uh, so do pray that, uh, uh, that everything's safe and everything goes okay. Once again, we thank you for coming out tonight. Do make it tomorrow night. Uh, we're looking for a good time tomorrow. Hey, Amen. Um, at this time, uh, uh, we'll ask um, if Brother Daniel in the back, if you will, dismiss us. <laughs>